What do we do with our hands? You know, I'm convinced that there are only two times in life we ask that question, what do I do with my hands? One is giving speeches and the other is when we're on first dates. Otherwise, we usually know what to do with them. I, I think gesturing is wonderful, and I'm going to give you some guidance and advice on gesturing in just a moment. But what do we do when our hands aren't gesturing? One thing is to keep them down by our side. This is incredibly awkward to just leave your hands down by your side. But does it look awkward? No. It feels awkward. Another nice resting place is just right up here. Okay, the, the trick here, though, is if you keep your hands, you wanted it around your navel, your tummy button level, belly button level, not hide. Look what happens to my shoulders and my entire demeanor if my hands are here versus here. Do you see the difference? It's a matter of inches, yet it looks more comfortable. Okay, so we want to make sure that our hands are in a natural position. We don't clench them because that makes us look tight. It tenses everything. We just rest. You can steeple. There, there's no right way to do this. But we just gently relax our hands and then we gesture. When we gesture, we reach out to our audience. It's about you. I reach out. Many people, when they gesture, they gesture in tight. It's protective. Speaking is a threat, so I want my hands up. It's like a boxer. Okay? But this makes me look tight. I coached one client who gestured all like this the whole time. I ended up calling him a T-Rex, a dinosaur, because it looked like that the way he was gesturing. You want to reach out. Elbow away from the body. Just reach out. Sometimes I tell my clients and students, pretend there's a golf ball or a ping pong ball underneath your armpit. It's not big, just a little bit. It gets your hands out. So I want to gesture away from myself. It's inviting. It incorporates the audience. It's not tight and in close. When we gesture, try to gesture so your hands are above your waist. Evolution has designed us, I believe, to pay attention to the sound people make, so we look at their faces. That's why we pay attention to people's faces when they speak. And it's also designed us to look for movement. So if I'm speaking to you and I'm gesturing down low, and you're looking at my face, you see these, something's distracting because it's just out of your peripheral vision, so you look down. And then you look up. And then you look down. And in a subconscious level, this is annoying. Right? It's distracting. You might not consciously say, oh, his hands are gesturing too low, but it's distracting. So when I gesture at my waist level or above, you can see my hands and my face in the same line of sight, and it's comforting. It's comforting. So we want to gesture up. Okay? So we want our gestures out and up. How many of you know the rules for basketball? How long can you be in the key, the basketball key, without getting a penalty? Three seconds. Everybody's going like this. Great. Three seconds. That's right. Your chest area treat as a basketball key. You can gesture in here, that's great. But if you stay in here too long, it makes you look nervous and tight. If all I did was gesture in here. So I can say, hey, this is important for you and for me. And then I'm out. Now, I don't mean literally in your head go 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. It's, it's just to give you an analogy. It's an idea that we want to gesture here and then get out. That's the idea. Okay?